Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. That not many know it's a story of greed and of hate. Cold blooded murder in the West, it is known as the lynching of cattle cage. Kind hearted woman and a hard working man doing their best to make do in a rugged law. Listen up, I've rode through howling hell and wind and snow and rain. I am oblivious to misery and pain. And that iron in your gizzard, it will never go away. So long as you got work to do today. And there's a monster on your back, son, get your guts up off the trail. We got a job to do and I promise we won't fail One day you'll earn your scars and all the fearlessness you lack Don't worry about that on Miss Charlie Bull The monster's on your back There's a monster on your back First evening, and here we are, really just kind of getting our bearings and looking for some deer, you know, trying to, I don't know, create a little bit of a game plan, how to hunt a couple of the bucks they've been seeing, and uh, so we're just enjoying looking at the critters, it's beautiful, there's some Split Rock Ranch, north of Rollins, Wyoming. This is the first hunt of the year for us. 2013 kicks off, at least for me. Uh, wow, gorgeous. The season is starting. I thought I heard your voice Out on the oak brush rim Cold rush upon my face But it was just the wind and a bugle down the draw from somewhere in the pine. Well, we're, we're closing out day one here in Wyoming. And we are looking for a three point, big, big three point that we saw. And I think we're going to nickname him Houdini because he just pulled the old disappearing act on us. And he was right here. It's getting too dark to film anyway. So we're gonna back out of here, but this is one of the bucks that's definitely high on our hit list. Uh, tonight was more of a kind of research, see what's going on, 
We've got some elk down here. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. What a what a way to kick off the hunting season. Beautiful night like tonight. And uh, we'll go back, get some dinner, and make a game plan for the morning. But the elk are starting to bugle. It's that time, folks. It's that time. This segment brought to you by Hamsky Archery Solutions, maximizing your accuracy. have dropped down into this draw and are actually in a spot where it, if they if they bedded right where they dropped in we might be able to drop right on top of them we got just a little bit of wind picking up now got a good good breeze blowing this way so we're gonna move down here probably split up Q and Adam will probably get up higher where they can look back down and get a bird's eye view and Dustin and I'll try and get real stealthy sneak in and, and uh, and peek over, see if we can't get in bow range, because there's uh, Bonzo, a nice three by, we think five right now. And then uh, and then there's Houdini, which is a real nice 3.2, so two bucks that we could shoot. So, let's do it.
Well. That was cool. We got close. Um, we spotted these bucks coming in and kind of knew where they were headed. So we worked our way in here, but then they started working down the draw a little bit and we were trying to actually move. We had the wind perfect and we started working down and the dadgum antelope started blowing at us. We just came, kind of came around a little knoll and there was an antelope buck and that, that I think we could have gotten in front of them. They were just working down this draw nice and easy and we just needed to get around and get them in front just kind of a get in front of them kind of ambush them and we had to wait till that buck moved off and those deer were watching that antelope buck as he was blowing at us that's frustrating but that's just how it is but i did not see that buck houdini in with them that's the other other three or four bucks so i think houdini's still in here we're gonna go regroup with q and and adam and and make a plan that's why they that's why they call it hunting and not killing, because they don't always work out. This segment brought to you by Gold Tip, the toughest arrow you'll ever shoot. something special about this country. Growing up as I did, idolizing the West, the Western culture, the Western way of life. And for me, hunting this country and looking at the old stage stops, the old Pony Express, the Oregon Trail, the Mormon Trail, this is a special place. Uh, because the heritage has almost been frozen in time. Devil's Gate and Horse Creek, they rode as headed for hang and tree. The Split Rock Ranch, Cross L, the, all of this country is a, uh, a reminder of the things that I hold dear, the things that we, the Western heritage, Hold dear, a life that's not easy, a life that's not for everybody. It's a life that the rugged people that live it, even today, cherish it um, as part of their culture. And that, I think, is the essence of Wyoming, the essence of the split rock, and why this hunt, regardless of species, is so special. To me. Convenient they weren't around. Every last one of them poisoned or gone. Guilty got off, no convictions were made, and the story lives on.
is known as the lynching of cattle. This segment brought to you by Hoyt. Get serious, get Hoyt. Well, we found that buck Houdini, and Q is actually uh, back up on his little perch with Adam. And uh, we watched this buck go into this little pocket in this straw, and he hasn't come back, but we got them up there, so if he does go out, they can let us know so we can we don't spend all day sneaking in there. Um, he's bedded, hopefully, it's real tall sagebrush, and hopefully we're, we're just gonna ease over here, take our time, and, uh, and get into position, and hopefully see him bedded. Listen up, I've rode this mountain 70 years, I've been alive. Choked on rocks and rattlesnakes, a wonder I've survived. Don't think I haven't had a bronc like you try me. Every time he thinks a monster is hiding around a tree. Well, the monster's on your back, son, better. Kind of a low percentage when you go in there like that into their bedroom but we had such a good wind i thought why not why not give it a try and and uh, with uh q up on the ridge sending smoke signals <laughs> giving us signals we kind of knew where he was and where he bedded and when he came up on that other side and just kind of sat there i settled in which i'd pre-ranged that and uh, i feel pretty good about that shot feel really good actually about that shot. So um, let's go back and let's get where I was and I'm gonna go try and find my first blood. Give him a little bit, let Q come down here and, uh, and see if we can't go recover that buck. Whew, thank you Lord. Man that's fun. Nice job buddy. This is a good sign, of course. This is my first uh, kill with the hy new hypodermic. And um, needless to say, I'm pretty impressed. That, that but that start. right there is a wonderful sight, isn't it? <laughs> a a like bloody gold tip arrow with a nocturnal burning bright, even though it's daytime. <laughs> warm summer wind. The taste of high mountain rain. You know, it's really cool when you have a second camera angle because like Q sat up there and watched the whole show, watched the buck go down. We didn't, I mean, we could have never seen that. But that's kind of neat when you have somebody else sitting up there a ways away to, and can see where the buck is. It sure makes the tracking job a lot easier. We drive to that place in the canyon and make a love to the sound of the wild weaver river. Ah, oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> All right. Oh man, look at this buck. Oh. <sighs> Oh man, Q, we did it again, buddy. Another, another, another plan, another, you know, we had some things 
not work right. That's right. Yeah. But that's hunting. That's part of it. And this guy really just held tight. You you knew he was under that cottonwood, and I thought it was the other dead cottonwood. Right. So I got ourselves into that high uh, sage, and almost kind of thought, oh, oh, what have I done to myself? And then I heard him. Yep. And luckily, you know, it, hunting's got a lot of luck involved. Oh, there's a lot of it. And, and luckily he came out that side, stopped right there, right next to a bush I had ranged, and, you know, put my 60 yard pin right on him. And he was quartering hard, so I hit him back, but it came out just, yes. You know, it's, it's, it's fun to come out here and get a couple stocks in, and you know, that doesn't always happen, but then have one that comes together like that this. Fun. That, that was fun. fun. Thanks again, bud. Congratulations. Outback Outdoors and QRS Outdoor Specialties here on the Split Rock Ranch. What a combination. <laughs> we, we just <laughs> keep doing it. Oh time. yeah, oh yeah. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.